What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to talk about the best way for you wide receivers to get some separation. All right guys, so in my opinion, the best way to gain separation, this is just in my opinion versus not just a regular DB, an average DB versus a good DB, the way receivers can have the advantage is by making all of their routes look the same. Even if we got like a hitch, we got a quick slant, make that look the same. There's not a whole lot we can do on a slant or a hitch or maybe a quick out. There's not a whole lot we can do to be to have some deception guys but what we can do is immediately off the line we can't give anything away pop our pads up pop our pad level up anything we're right off this line we explode into this route and sell this fade okay like let's say i'm running a hitch db's off maybe about five yards i want to be looking over his outside shoulder and i want to be digging selling this fade like i'm trying like i'm going to run right by him to get him to turn his hips okay ultimately turn his hips or even just be on his heels a little bit that's a win for us when it comes to a hitch when the guy db's maybe about five yards off now let's say we're running a deeper route let's say we're running a comeback or a post that's when it becomes even more important guys now it this this comes when it's either versus press or the db's off he's in off coverage he's playing zone if we attack straight off the line we're going full speed he doesn't know, he, he, the DB's worst nightmare is getting beat over the top, okay? He does not want to get beat over the top, and that's what they are taught. So, if you're coming full speed off this line, and you're able to make a move from anywhere, no matter what speed you're going, he's gonna be thinking, okay, fade, we can maybe get him to turn his hips, or to just be in a back pedal almost, that means we've won, guys. We gotta get some separation. Now, it depends on if the DB's fast out of this and he can break on the ball, that's a different story. But I think on the stem portion of the route, if he's off, if we could get him on his heels or we could get him to turn his hips like he's about to turn and run, I think we have won. Now, next part that comes into is we gotta be able to make a move right off of that. A lot of guys will come here and they'll be bursting off the line and then they'll pop up and then it gives everything away, okay? DB knows the move's coming or he's coming here and this will be, slow he won't make a sudden stick like if you were running a post or if you were running a corner but the most important thing is all your routes at some point have to look the exact same and that's what i believe will get you the most separation all right guys i really want to thank you for watching i really appreciate it please leave in the comments any questions you guys might have i will make sure to get back to you i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time